Today we're performing an eye dissection. This is a bovine eye. You can see that the eye is surrounded by a lot of fatty tissue and you can see that there are muscles attached to the eye. Obviously these muscles help to move the eye up and down left and right. The outer portion of the eyeball is called the sclera. It's very tough as you can tell. The front portion of the eye is called the cornea and that is the part that is exposed to the environment. I'm just removing some of this fatty tissue to expose the sclera. I'm just trying to remove the fatty tissue and remaining muscle tissue to show you the optic nerve. The optic nerve is a cranial nerve. It captures visual, sensory information and carries it to the brain. So this is the cornea at the front of the eye. So now we're going to dissect the eye. First of all, I'm going to cut around the cornea through the sclera, the sclera being the tough outer portion of the eyeball. Around the edge of the cornea, underneath, you can see a dark circular pattern. That's the ciliary body. Inside the eyeball, you can see a clear fluid. It's quite viscous and thick. This is the vitreous body or vitreous humor. And that takes up most of the space inside the eyeball. In between the cornea and the vitreous humor or vitreous body is a clear round or oval structure called the lens. Okay, so I've taken the vitreous humor out just to show you how much space it would have taken up inside the eyeball. And if you look inside, you can see at the back of the eyeball, there's blood vessels. And you can also see that it's light green or blue in color. That color is the choroid layer. And on top of the choroid layer is a very thin, slightly pink layer. That is part of the retina, so that's where the rods and cones are. Now we're going to examine some of the structures of the eye to see if they have any magnification ability. This is the vitreous humor. As you can see, it provides only a slight magnification.
Now, let's look at the magnification that the lens provides. First of all, I'm going to remove it from the back of the cornea. Again, you can see that dark color around the edge of the cornea. That's the ciliary body. And there's the lens. You can see it's very round, slightly oval in shape. Now we're going to look at the magnifying capacity of the lens. As we can see, the lens definitely has magnifying ability. It's greatly increased. And there's the lens. We'll just have a quick look at the back of the eye. We've got the sclera and then we've got the choroid, which is the bright greeny aqua colored layer. And we also have the retina and we can see on top of that. And I'll just take a bit apart and just show you. There it is.